everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm Chris, this is PNWRC Madness, and I got a comparison today of the Red Cat Vigilante and the Traxxas X-Max. All right, check this out, guys. Before we get started, I do want to show you this new upgrade we have available on the website, PNWRC Madness. Check it out. We do have one video out already. We have it installed on the Traxxas 12S X-Max. So here they are, guys. Check it out. We got blue. We've got green. Guys, these are 7075 aluminum. We got red. This is what we're going to install on the X-Max today. And we're going to see possibly if they fit this bad boy. We got silver. We got orange and purple. And then we're going to go ahead and change up the gearing and run full 50 20. well check it out guys before we start the comparison you can see we have two broken trucks the red cat vigilante on the right and we got the x max it's broken as well on the left let me show you let me show you what happened and then let me show you a few differences and a few similarities about these trucks if you look closely at them, they look very similar. One thing I do notice about the Red Cat though, it is much wider and possibly more heavy because it's got more metal parts on it from the factory. All right, check this out guys. Let's go ahead. Oh, my back is all messed up. Let's go ahead, take a look at the underside of the Traxxas X-Max. Now, what you can see here is we got some broken axles because Traxxas do break as well, and I love my Traxxas X-Max. Now, what you see here is we got all plastic on the bottom, plastic skid plates. We got three-piece skids, front, center, and rear. So before I show you the underside of the Red Cat Vigilante, I want to show you guys the new bash bar. You guys can find these on my website, www.kwrcmadness. Check those out. These are made of 7075 aluminum. And this one right here is actually the PNWRC Madness Signature Series bar uh, with GPM. We got PNWRC Madness and GPM. Comes with all the parts. Bar comes with all the parts. Screws, drill bit, all the mounting hardware, all that good stuff. And we'll show you that here in a little bit after we take a look at this beast. So check that out guys, this is the Red Cat and obviously it's super similar to the X-Max. We got front, center, and rear skids. Now one thing I did mention uh, in my last videos was this two-piece chassis. Alright, check it out. Now if you take a look you can see there is actually like a line right there. You can see how they join it right there with the Nerf bar and that kind of goes all the way through the chassis. Now the X-Max is one solid piece and I do know that they'll break up here in the bulkheads in the front and the rear. So let's just see for giggles, let's take this Traxxas X-Max bar and see how well it fits. Oh lord, look at that. It's almost like it was meant for the Red Cat Vigilante. Now I'm not sure if we could get it installed or not, but man, look at that. So check that out guys. We got both trucks laying on their sides and you can see how much bigger the Vigilante is. We got no adapters, it's all stock, both trucks for the most part. So let's go ahead and just start off by looking at these arms. Look at the arms on the Traxxas X-Max and then look at the arms. Look how wide they are all the way down on the Red Cat Vigilante. This is the rear of the Vigilante and what we have here is just a small bumper. Well, it's not small, it's actually pretty massive. So we have no wheelie bar. And then if you take a look at the X-Max, the X-Max comes stock with a wheelie bar and a pretty good sized bumper and support. Let's go ahead, pull the wheels off both trucks and see what the differences are there. Now looking at the X-Max wheel wrench, check that out. We got a 17 millimeter hex. And then, geez Louise, check this out. I believe this is 24 or one inch or something like that. That is the Vigilante wheel wrench. Got X Max on the left and we got Vigilante on the right. Now these are 7075 aluminum rear hubs with huge bearings in there and then Traxxas comes stock with plastic 
uh, and aluminum stub axles. So next thing we're going to do, let's check this out. We got the Vigilante tire. Look at that. There is the hex inside the wheel. There is no metal in there or anything like that, but super big wheel drilled out for a large three quarter inch stub axle. And wow, that's pretty heavy guys. That is 1.96 ounces. And the X-Max tire definitely feels a lot lighter. It's about the same size in comparison, but let's see how much it weighs. 1.5 ounces. So definitely a lot lighter and they probably explode a lot easier as well. Another thing about the Traxxas X-Max is it comes with aluminum stub axles and the Vigilante comes with steel stub axles. So looking at the front of the truck, check this out. We have the X-Max again on the left and we have a pretty good sized bumper and the support is okay. And then on the right side we have here the Vigilante and it has a massive bumper and it also has these lights. Uh, you can unscrew that clear plastic piece and you can actually put lights in there. So working light buckets, super awesome. One thing that I notice uh, that is a big difference about these two trucks is the Vigilante actually has the same front and rear shock tower. The front works for the rear, the rear works for the front. And then Vigilantes come with these adjustable body mounts. I do like that. I do like the clipless system by Traxxas, but I also like the clips because they don't come flying off. So this body is really nice and it doesn't fly off like the Traxxas body. Big thumbs up for that. One cool thing about the Traxxas X-Max is that you can definitely upgrade these trucks to the hill. The aftermarket support is there. It's everywhere. Traxxas is king. Definitely Traxxas is king. Now, both I see have front removable and rear removable diff housing covers. Super simple to get to. Both trucks have that. Huge thumbs up for that. And then checking out the X-Max. These are just big, huge, big, huge, beefy shocks, aluminum shock bodies, plastic caps. But then let's check out the Red Cat. So the Red Cat has limiting straps. Now, I'm not quite sure how much I like that or not. But one thing I do notice is that when I did crash my truck in the dunes, the shock cap pulled right off the aluminum shock body. Now, I've never had that happen to my Traxxas X-Max but I'm not sure if that helps save any other parts or not in the brake. But in that brake, guys, one thing that does not happen often to the Traxxas is it just pulls apart right there. So we didn't bend any pins, but we did pull the cap loose, lost some oil, and we also, yeah, made a big mess. Another comparison to the trucks, check that out. So Traxxas X-Max uses a plastic upper arm with no camber adjustment, kind of hard to see. So just your typical plastic A-arm. And then there is the Vigilante. The Vigilante is going to use an adjustable camber link uh, upper arm support. Super awesome. That way you can adjust your camber in and out. That's always nice to do. So let's go ahead and get right into the meat and potatoes of these two trucks. Check it out. So starting with the Vigilante, we got a pretty similar chassis, chassis support brace, two rails on each side connecting to the chassis or connecting to the shock tower. Only difference I see here with the Vigilante is we have aluminum and the Traxxas is plastic. And I do know this actually breaks quite a bit uh, on hard crashes. Moving on, check this out. One cool thing about the Traxxas X-Max is these battery trays. Well, I have installed here the PNW RC Madness Kevlar straps with carbon fiber trays. And you can basically fit any size battery in there. Now with the stock trays, you can't fit any size battery in there, but you can fit a definitely taller battery than you can in the Vigilante. Now the Vigilante is definitely limited on your battery size. So under the hood in the center of the chassis, you can see here the Vigilante comes with Velcro straps. You get three of them, but the problem is, is this chassis brace is kind of blocking right here. And this kind of limits the height of the battery you can use. 
And going back to the X Max, the X Max, no problem. This truck is set up for any battery size. You can run 4S, 6S, you can run 70 millimeter tall batteries in this bad boy, no problem. Looking back at the Red Cat again, guys, this does come with, oh, I'm gonna just call it a Hobby Wing Max 6. And then the motor can is 1250 kV, it's a 4985. And it is going to just come with one monstrous, I believe that's like 60 millimeters. So big, huge 60 millimeter fan. And then guys, the last comparison I wanted to show you is these shock tower braces. So take a good look at that. We have this sort of <laughs> similar looking triangular shape brace right here that is supporting the shock tower. And then it just looks like it bolts right into the two piece chassis. All right guys, so I hope this video has helped you out. It might help you make a decision on which truck you would like to buy, the X-Max or the Vigilante. Now there are a few things that I haven't shown you and that is the steering rack and the diffs the center drive shaft and everything that's kind of buttoned up into the chassis. I'll show you guys that in one of my next videos, but until then, we're gonna go ahead, fix up this X-Max, and we're still waiting on the parts from Red Cat, but thanks for watching my video, guys. Please do leave me a like, leave me a big thumbs up, and yeah, do subscribe, and I will catch you guys on the next one. Whoosh.